All right, so here's how you do this project. The uh, students in class just finished this like last week. And what it is, is a clip from a 1956 sci-fi movie called Forbidden Planet. And this was the first movie in 1956. So, you know, like my dad was 12 and my mom was like 10, or maybe it was even younger than that, 8 and 10. Anyway, whatever. So this was the first movie to use a synthesizer. And this is like the original clip of the movie. We got some astronauts, and they're on like a, a human flying saucer, and they talk a little bit, right? For about then, right, here comes the flying saucer. That's a synthesizer making that sound effect, right? Briefly cuts back to the guys in the inside, right? And then you get this thing. So you'll, you'll watch that clip on your own. I'll, I'll add it. Anyway, what I want you to do is use synthesizers to make your own kind of like creepy UFO music. And so here I am in band lab now. I just like, you know, created a new document. You see, it's never been saved as my instrument. So under the instrument tab here in band lab, um, if you click on it under keyboards, you've got various kinds of synths. Synth is short for synthesizer. Um, and so I'm just going to like, you know, pick a, a, a random one here. Uh, I don't know. Here's whatever this is. So now if I play, I've got this kind of like shimmery sound right it tells me the notes there if I want anyway and I can hold shift and this one doesn't really sustain so well let's try some of these other ones uh, so we want to find uh, synthesizer sounds that you like that you think go along with let's do some synth pads here like uh, I don't know let's see what this sounds like I'll take it a second to load right yeah now we're talking Right? Like that kind of thing. Anyway, so then you would just like record. It's going to be about a minute long, right? If we go over to the clip, uh, it's like a minute 50, but you don't have to do the first uh, 30 seconds. So you want to start at 30 seconds. So you want to do about a minute from here to there where they get out. So it's like a minute and 15 seconds. And so what I would suggest is, you know, if you have two windows open or you have an idea, just kind of like play the movie like you know if we separate this and put it in like a different thing right so you know play the movie right here right and while i'm watching that i can play along with it or something like that uh and essentially what we want at, by the end is some kind of swirly synthesizer sound effect to go along with this movie whatever you think it should sound like so go through um the different synthesizer sounds, um, and there are lots and lots and lots of them. And then within each one, uh, up in like the, uh, let me see if I can find it, somewhere in here, there are parameters. Yeah, got it. It's down, yeah, down here. So you can add effects to this. So I have my original synthesizer sounds. So I'm going to put a delay effect on it, and I might, you know, at this point, uh, be not fast enough on my computer, but... Yeah, my computer's not fast enough to process this at the moment. That's like too much data. Let's get rid of you. Uh, anyway, so you can use all of these parameters to kind of like change the sound. Uh, and, you know, that's that's the basic project. Anyway, so uh, if you complete that, it's about, you know, that's the, the whole thing. And in class, you know, we all like listen to them uh, playing along with the movie. It's pretty fun. Anyway, it's about, so you're going for a minute and 15 seconds. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, take it easy. Good luck out there. Bye.